With a heavy heart, the world bids farewell to Hersha Parati, a cherished actress known for her remarkable talent and contributions to the world of classic entertainment. Parati, who passed away at age 78 on Wednesday, August 23, 2023, graced our screens as Alice Garvey in the beloved television series Little House on the Prairie. Facts First presents Hersha Parati dead at 78. Her cause of death is tragic. Hersha's Early Life and Career Born as Betty Sandhoff in the small Midwestern town of Berea, Ohio, on May 25, 1945, Hersha Parati's passion for acting ignited early. At age 14, she began acting locally, participating in Cleveland-area theatrical productions. In the early 70s, she took a bold step and moved west to advance her acting career. This move paid off as she landed a significant role opposite John Voight in a touring production of A Streetcar Named Desire. At this point, her talent was beginning to gain recognition. Her television career started with guest appearances in shows like Mannix, Bearcats, and she even made an appearance on The Waltons. Of note to fans of the series, Hersha was at one point considered for the role of Caroline Ingalls in Little House on the Prairie, but ultimately lost the role to Karen Grassle. In 1976, though, she appeared on Little House on the Prairie as Eliza Ann Ingalls, Charles's sister-in-law. A year later, she was cast in the role that would define her career, Alice Garvey, a character she portrayed until 1980. Tragically, as you may recall, her character met a fiery end accidentally set by Albert Ingalls. Post Little House on the Prairie, her television appearances became rare, with occasional roles in shows like Keenan and Kel. Off-screen, Hersh's life was filled with connections and friendships. She was once married to Oscar-winning producer John Peverall, with whom she had a child. Her friendships with fellow Little House actors Catherine McGregor, Richard Bull, and Dabs Greer were likewise connections she deeply cherished, and she was close to other cast members like Patrick Labiarteau and his brother Matthew, as well as the makeup artist Whitey and hairmaster Larry Germain. Her life was a blend of talent, determination, and warmth, both on and off screen. Her journey from a young girl in Ohio to a beloved television actress is an inspiring tale of following passion and making dreams come true. Hersha's death Hersha's death occurred at the Norfolk, Virginia home of her son, Jonathan Peverell. In a heartbreaking revelation, it was disclosed she had been battling a brain tumor known as a meningioma. During this difficult time, her son had set up a GoFundMe page to assist with her expenses, a sobering reminder to the gravity of her condition and the financial woes such a medical crisis can lead to. Group rep artistic director Doug Haverty shared a touching tribute with Fox News Digital, stating Hersha had passed away after a long, valiant battle. He also reflected on the creative energy she brought to the world of theater, saying she had, quote, just hummed with creative energy and that her passion for every aspect of the world of theater, especially the development of new plays, was deep and contagious. Haverty's final words for his dear friend resonate with the feelings of those who knew her. Rest in peace, lovely Hershey. We're all the richer having known her. As we remember Hersha, let's also acknowledge the sorrow and loss felt by her family, friends, and fans. We'll reflect on the Little House Prairie cast on their lives and legacies. Michael Landon Rugged and charismatic, Michael Landon was a TV icon known for his roles in three major series, Bonanza, Little House on the Prairie, and Highway to Heaven. Born Eugene Maurice Orowitz in Queens, New York, Landon's journey to stardom was marked by resilience. He found his footing as Little Joe on Bonanza, a show that solidified his presence on television. After winning hearts as Charles Ingalls on Little House, London's battle with pancreatic cancer brought tears to the eyes of his fans. In April of 1991, he shared his diagnosis, becoming a beacon of strength. Though he ultimately lost his battle in July that year, his legacy of bravery and zeal lives on. Victor French Victor French, with his distinctive looks and mustache, became a staple of Western television. While he often played villains, it was Michael Landon who recognized his potential for larger roles. On Little House, he portrayed Isaiah Edwards, a gruff farmer with a heart of gold. French's contributions weren't limited to acting, he also directed episodes and shared a close bond with Landon. His passing in 1989 marked the loss of a gifted actor. Merlin Olson Merlin Olson was a force both on the football field and in the entertainment industry. 
As a football player, he stood tall at 6 foot 5 and earned a reputation as a legendary tackle. Joining the cast of Little House as Jonathan Garvey, Olsen's towering presence brought depth to his characters. His transition from sports to wholesome family-friendly entertainment showcased his adaptability and willingness to try new things. His journey ended in 2010 due to cancer, leaving behind a legacy of athleticism and artistry. Catherine McGregor Catherine McGregor's portrayal of Harriet Olsen, a character viewers love to dislike, was a testament to her acting prowess. Born Dorley McGregor, she found her passion for acting early and honed her craft under renowned coaches. Her role as a thorn in the Ingalls family's side left a lasting impact. McGregor's retirement after the series concluded the end of an era. She passed away in 2018. Robert Loggia Robert Loggia's career spanned a wide range of roles, from sinister mobsters to heartwarming, morally upright characters. While he played Thomas Stark on Little House, his iconic roles in Scarface and Big underscored his professional versatility. An Oscar nomination for Jagged Edge highlighted his exceptional talent. Loggia's battle with Alzheimer's ended in 2015, but his unforgettable performances continue to live on. Ernest Borgnine Ernest Borgnine's ability to embrace both lovable lugs and tough guy roles defined his acting journey. His prolific career spanned over 200 credits, including iconic films like From Here to Eternity and The Dirty Dozen. His Academy Award-winning performance in Marty showcased his depth. Borgnine's diverse roles left an unforgettable mark, even after his passing in 2012. Billy Barty Billy Barty, one of Hollywood's legendary little people, defied stereotypes throughout his prolific career. Starting in films at just three years old, he starred in classics like Gold Diggers of 1933 and Foul Play. His TV appearances, including multiple roles on Little House, further cemented his status as an industry treasure. Barty's passing in 2000 marked the end of a remarkable voyage through both life and the limelight. Dub Taylor Dub Taylor's six-decade career was marked by his distinctive wild white hair and penchant for Western roles. Starting in vaudeville, he transitioned to film with appearances in classics like The Wild Bunch and Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Taylor's TV roles, including appearances on Little House, showcase his dynamic range. His legacy unmistakably lives on in the characters he brought to life on screen. Now it's time to hear from you. How will you remember Hersha Parati? And who was your favorite character on Little House? Let us know in the comments section below.